Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through step-by-step -step how to use ChatGPT to write articles for a newsletter on LinkedIn in order to start growing your subscribers really fast on the platform. So I've got ChatGPT pulled up right here, a link in the description below where you can get started for free. And we're simply going to ask it, um, write and to write an article for LinkedIn about remote work tips. And it's going to start writing the article right here. Remote work has become a new normal for many professionals in the wake of blah, 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 blah. Uh, we can also tell it to write a certain number of words as well. So let's say instead of just write an article, we want to make it let's say 500 words long and more specific. So remote work, best practices and tips, for example. Well, okay, now I just had a problem. So let's open up a new tab and ask it again. Okay, so now it's writing the entire LinkedIn article. It should be about 500 words long. And while it's typing this, I'm gonna come over to my LinkedIn account and show you my free newsletter. This is it. And I'm using ChatGPT to write every single one of these articles. So here's one on top 20 remote job boards, how to land a remote job, 10 proven strategies for getting discovered on LinkedIn. Very relevant because obviously I'm on the LinkedIn platform sharing this article. And I've also got effective strategies for managing a remote team. 10 tips for becoming indispensable remote worker and the list goes on. So I'm using ChatGPT to write every single one of these. And the really, really cool thing about starting a newsletter on LinkedIn is everyone in your network work will get a notification via email and then also in their notifications tab right here. So as soon as you publish the article, it will blast it out to every one of your connections. And this is the best way that I've found to grow your subscribers really fast. So I think I started up the newsletter again about a month ago. I had 50 subscribers and now I have over 3000 subscribers in a very short period of time, which I can easily just take a look at them and then send them messages from here. So let's say I want to view this particular LinkedIn article right here. I can simply click on it and then read the entire article. This was written completely with ChatGPT. I didn't do any editing. Uh, I simply add a call to action at the bottom and typically one of my YouTube videos they, where they can watch and subscribe. So now I wanna write another article since I can write one every 24 hours. So all I have to do is go back to my home timeline and click on write article. So this is different than writing a post. If I wanna write a post, I'll click here. If I wanna write an article, then I click on write an article and I can either post from my personal profile, my company page or my company pages. I'm gonna post from my personal profile. And then it's just a simple matter of giving it a title, which we can also use ChatGPT for if we don't wanna come up with one on our own. I could just say, write a compelling title and it will take this previous article and write a title for it. This is pretty good. And in this case, they have seven tips. Um, if we want to write three more to make it an even number, we can say write three more tips and it will continue where it left off. See, starting at number eight and going from there. So let's come over and make that our title. Top 10, always important to include at the beginning. And you can take out essential, don't really need that in there. Remote work, best practices and tips. Since my article is specifically about working from anywhere and remote work, um, I try to center a lot of my articles around that specific niche topic. So that's a, again, what I'm doing right here. So now all I have to do is take this word for word. Of course, I can edit it as well, which I would recommend. 
Um, but for the most part, I usually just take it exactly as is. Uh, this this part needs a little bit of fixing here. I simply format this so that it looks correct. I don't know why it's putting those on separate lines, but we can easily fix that. And number one, establish a routine. And of course, we can do a little bit of editing here. Make these bold so it stands out. And it's easier to read. Pretty straightforward. And then as soon as I publish this article, I'll show you uh, that it will notify everyone via email. So let's also include these last tips here. And again, it's putting in the spacing for some reason. So let's fix that. And of course, we can go through and read this article. Uh, I would recommend proofreading it before publishing, um, just in case there's any typos or anything like that. But for the most part, it's just important to be consistently putting out new content on your newsletter um, to provide value to people. And over time, you'll start getting more subscribers, more clients, all that sort of stuff. Um, so this part, we can just take out because it's basically just repeating what I've already said. And then at the bottom, I'll usually say, uh, need help with working or something like that. Uh, please schedule a coaching call here, actually a consultation call. Link in the description below where you can do that as well. And then put a link to my landing page right there. And then I'll also usually include a, another YouTube video at the bottom. So I can simply take one of my other YouTube videos um, about LinkedIn, such as this one, getting more clients on LinkedIn. And I could simply put that link in so that I'm also growing my YouTube subscriber base as well. Uh, in addition to growing my subscribers on LinkedIn. So it's a very um, meta way to, to do this sort of thing, but I find that it's very effective. So let's just read the introduction to make sure it makes sense. Remote work has become a staple in today's workforce for many companies and employees realize the benefits it offers such as increased flexibility and reduced costs. However, with the sudden shift to remote work due to COVID, many individuals have struggled to adapt to this new way of working. Don't really need this part. You can just take that out to help you succeed as a as an indis. I would put indispensable in here, um, and you can also link to some of your other articles as well. Here are some best practices and tips to consider. Right, and then start the article. It doesn't have to be anything really complicated. Uh, I find that these bulleted or numbered lists usually work pretty well. Just to get people informed, this is a very informative article um, that provides a lot of value. And that's it. Take that part out. So now, uh, I think this is pretty good as it is. So I'm just going to simply uh, post this article. Of course, I would like to include a cover image at the top as well. So all I have to do is come over to Google Images and type in remote work best practices and see what comes up. So here we are. It's not quite what I'm looking for. This article, this image right here looks pretty good. Not the best, but it doesn't need to be perfect, obviously. So let's just save this image and use that as the cover photo. It's already a PNG file, so we're good to go. And then come over here, simply upload that cover image. Because this is what it's going to include in the post. And you want to make sure that you have a nice looking image that will uh, encourage people to click on it. And then here you can just add some alt text right here. Um, remote work best practices in 2023 or something like that, right? 
I usually put the, the year here too. And 20, eh, I don't really need it in this case. So here, what I'll do when I share the post, I can publish it right here. And as you can see, it's got the cover image displayed. Then I'll just put the introduction right there and then add some hashtags. Right? That's all there is to it. So now it's going to publish the article. It's going to share it to my profile. I'll also typically share it to my large community of remote workers and then also on my company page as well. So now it's going to publish straight to my timeline or my profile. And you'll see that I'm going to get a notification right there. So I just published the article. Now I can choose to share it on Facebook, Twitter, um, in my group as well, or other groups. I can do that. So yeah, there it is. So now it's published and uh, I should have received a notification already. There it is. So that's what it shows to everybody in my network, which is like 20,000 plus people. Every time that I post an article, it says new from Mike Hope in Work From Anywhere. That's the name of my newsletter and then the title of the article. So if I click on this, as you can see, it will quickly open the article where they can read the entire thing. They can schedule a consultation call if they choose to. They can watch my YouTube video, uh, obviously like the post, make a comment. And from here, I can easily uh, view the stats. So since I just published this article, there's no stats yet. Um, but usually I'll see about 150 readers within the first few minutes. So it gets a ton of engagement, way more than I would get ju just by posting to my timeline on LinkedIn. So if I click on this one, this more recent post, um, I can view the stats of this and you'll see it had 1400 article views, which is really good. We can also drill down and see what the job titles are, uh, locations, most of them are in Thailand, also some in Ukraine and Austin, uh, companies as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So you get the, the ni really nice thing about the newsletter is it's a really, really effective way to grow your subscribers, start getting more, um, you know, start becoming like a thought leader in your space. Uh, start getting more clients, coaching calls, whatever it is you're trying to do. And right here, again, in my email, you'll see that I also received an email about the article with the entire article right here. And then they can easily um, open it on LinkedIn as well. So that email just went out to everybody in my network, which is awesome. So let's go back to the newsletter and you should see it now here since I just, I've already published the newsletter article and it's all thanks to ChatGPT, by the way. This is, instead of writing the entire article myself, I can use ChatGPT and just start putting out consistent content without writing anything really myself. Um, so yeah, there it is. Here's the latest article. It's now in my newsletter and then also on my profile right here. So now I can go view the stats and yeah, right here, 140 article views in the first three minutes. So as you can tell, uh, lots of people are already reading the article and that's going to uh, hopefully lead to more consultation calls, more subscribers on my YouTube channel, whatever call to action you want to use here. Uh, I leave that up to you. And then I can also take this article right here and go over to my company page, my LinkedIn group, wherever, and then share it there as well to get more readers. So I can come over to my LinkedIn community. I've got about almost 6,000 members in here now, 5,700 roughly. These are all mostly digital nomads and remote workers around the world. Um, so I could simply take that 
and then paste in the article URL right here. So I can share it easily to my group, just shared it there. And then I can also come over to my company page, be remote consulting and share it here as well. Make sure to add some hashtags never hurts it and share it there too. This month I can actually invite another 220 roughly people to join my company page. And if anyone has any questions about any of this stuff, uh, feel free to post a comment down below. I'm a wealth of information uh, and I've been using LinkedIn for many years. As you can see right here, I've got about 20,000 connections. Uh, I've got that LinkedIn group. And then also for the newsletter, it will automatically pin it to the top of your profile right here. And then I also have a link to my resources over here as well, where they can learn more about me, get my courses, coaching, you know, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, really easy to check out the newsletter. I've also included a, <coughs> a reference to it in my headline as well. So if I come up here, you can see subscribe to my free newsletter in the pinned post. That's it. So it says exactly what I do. I help my clients work from anywhere in the world and then subscribe to newsletter. And then I have a link to my free community right here. So everything is already set up and it's optimized for more clients and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the best way that I found to grow subscribers on LinkedIn and by writing articles using ChatGPT, sharing it with your network, getting more subscribers and ultimately um, getting more clients on the largest professional network in the world. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll be making more videos like this again real soon. Take care. Peace.